Messianic. Look at you with your sexy shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nice, brand new. That'd be Dave. Get up. See what I did with the logos? I put yours on the inside and mine on the right breast, so it's so it'll be so it should be. No matter how, how far out the picture we might end somebody's up, somebody's always getting birds out. Yeah, so yeah. that way we should always be. As long as we never swap sides, we should do that one day. Just swap seats and just see who knows. I'm not sure. I'd be I'd be kind of uncomfortable now. Right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello, hello. How are we doing? Um, hi, Rodders. How are you? Rodders, Carl. Good looking fellas. Anyway, blethers, blethers. What we're doing today is Ben's episode. Remember we had the rum? Lovely episode, that one. Informative. We're going to really pretend like we just did that or it was months ago. Oh, I don't know. Well, so we always like do the blethers a, a couple of weeks afterwards, don't we, normally? So, what do you want to do? Well, it's, it's out the bag now. Yeah, it's out the it's bag now. So, anyway, we've done the Ben episode. Interesting. Is anything really interesting? Because it's all about rum. I had a rum. But the amount that you could go down the technical, I, I, you know, uh, listen, before we start talking all night about Ben, how about getting the Jam, yeah. jam, jam, jam. This bag is getting bigger and we must was, be slowing down on the beverages. Whimsical and this full already. Can you just hear that? Oh my God. You might have seen a picture of this bag at the start or at the end, but you'll get a look into this bag soon enough. Ah, uh, there's like, uh, it's got to be like three full balls. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon so. That's not even all of them. We've got others looking about. It looks a bit promising. Mine looks a bit paley wally. But, all right, let's see how we get on. Yes, mate. Nice colour, though, not bad. Oh, that's sherry all day long. Whew. What sherry? I don't know just yet. The last time we did this for um, <laughs> uh, trying to perk up what we were doing for Bunna uh going out to the, yeah, you definitely won, so I think it's my turn this time. Yes, indeed. Oh, just to let you know as well, we do have, we're going to get a new bag, but this is our bag of the Peter Jams. That's pathetic. It oh, is, but that's still a lot in there, that's at least no, a No, I bottle. mean the bag is there. The bag's pathetic, but that's just until we transfer it to a nice beautiful, I might get the wife to make us a nice bag. She likes doing a bit of that, a bit of crafting. Yeah. Anyway, what we got? Cheers, mate. We ain't got our proper glasses. It's all right. Glad you have got? I've got the Wessex Whiskey Club. That's Dave and the boys down in Winchester. Woo! -hoo. Ciao Hello again. What a plug for them. They're getting plugged all the time, these people. If you pardon the pun. That's lovely. Any good? Yeah. Yeah. Lots of flavour, but it's not going to get... Um, I'm happy to be drinking this in the middle of the day. Middle of the day? Yep. 7.30 in the morning. I suppose you've been up all night. <laughs> TV magic. Beautiful. So looking back on the Ben episode, I've still got my bottle open here. Can you see that? Fantastic. What a lovely gift. Ben's got some skills so on it. you do it like that and then you put your bottle cap and you flick it off. It's even got a little copper bit on there with our names on. Oh, his it's, uh, it's it's Facebook really nice. picture at the moment is it's him on the forge with just like the, the iron, like striking the iron right when it's That's actually right. white Sorry. hot. Yeah, look at this hot, look at this, yeah. So he's enjoying picture. his metal working just now, isn't he? Which is nice. Which is yeah, really you were good. nasty. I mean, that's a lot of work goes into that stuff. Oh, and fun. you're sort of like clicking your fingers at him. I give us 20 of those, give us 100, <laughs> <laughs> basically. Yeah, like it's mass produced, but it's not, they're all kind of, not one offs and off because these are very similar with ours. But, but he is just taking lots of yeah. iron he finds about yeah, the, the, the island and converting them into. I've only found a bit of old rebar, then he and made a. A little, like almost like the samurai type sword type things I saw on like this a short thing. version of yeah. it, yeah. Um, incredible, it does really well, really well. Would have been really bad, so, the rum episode, what do you think of the rum? I thought it was nice, I was surprised by the rum. <laughs> Since then, uh, doing tastings and whatnot, I'm never going, never stopped going on about, um, in particular, the one he gave us, it was 70 percent. Oh, it went yeah. down like silk, it went yeah, down like cream. soft as anything, soft and smooth, lovely, wasn't aggressive, no, like you'd expect. But even that Cape Ned one that we had, the very first one, the bottle oh. I gave me, oh, I couldn't believe, because I'm not a rum drinker at all, so I couldn't actually believe how soft and smooth and easy drinking that was. You know what I mean? I've always thought of rum as a rum and coke. That was half the episode of us going, I have no idea. I know, it's quite embarrassing. It was, it it embarrassing, was just dump coke in it yeah. to get rid of, yeah. Get, that's it, get rid of that. Conceal the fact alcohol. that you're drinking alcohol, but yeah. it's, yeah, it's, it's not. Some it's lovely, things, some real nice jams and some good neat jams, you know? Mm. That's, the, that's the key to it. It's, it's like whiskey. 
you know, a lot of people back in the day used to be a whiskey and coke, a whiskey mac, or a whiskey something. You know what I mean? But mm. to drink a nice malt whiskey, it's it's the same thing as these lovely the, the rums. But again, people underestimate the rum, I think. Yeah. Um, but but enough people get out there. They're they're just in it for being in the market. They're not yeah. putting. That was the whole episode. Is just if you show some love, it's technically difficult. And if you show some love and tweak it for where you're where you are and yep. what you can get hold of. Absolutely. So looking forward to so getting him back up with a sample. Absolutely. Once he's yeah. up and running, which he said could be August, September, October time. Was he not? To, I hope was, so. I think, whether that's ambitious. The COVID was going to, but by the end yeah, of the yeah. year anyway. Certainly by the end of the year. Yeah, absolutely. Which would be fantastic for us. We can get up here, give him a plug, and have a decent jam ourselves. So it's a win-win, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, but really interesting. Really interesting what's happening with Isla and a bit of progress at the minute. It's just. Sorry, I didn't ask you. I've been rude here. You always How are you getting on? Yeah, it's nice, lovely. Yeah, a little bit different to the um, twelve-year-old listerine we had the uh, the other episode. I mean, I think, I think this is all I'm going with with this. Ah, never mind. Whatever it is, if you're happy, happy. You're happy. It's lovely. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's We don't know what they are. We don't know where they're from. We drink them. We either like them or we don't. Nine times out of ten, we do, which is the bonus. Yeah, happy days. I like that we've sort of yeah we have sneaked in some stuff that we didn't like. Yeah. Put that into I'll a bottle it. so that you know, because you know there's some gorgeous that's stuff when, in there, so you know it's a that's sort when of when you one of your land. guests pick that one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, balls, I forgot something for, for fucking pirates. Um, I forgot something on the rum. Yeah, but I didn't get much out of it. That's why it didn't stick in my head. It was, um, uh, you kept saying that's the mark of it. It's not like um, Sherry Dio, is it? What does that mean? Oh yeah, uh, origin, the no, 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 it's of. more, it's much more like um, a, a run, you know, like, uh, um, like a batch. We're, we're doing, we're doing a run of, of peated. Well, oh, to be fair, you can, we're still recording this. You could always edit that out and wind it into that bit we just done about Ben's leathers. Oh, and another thing, you know, about the oh, the, right. the rums there is uh, Mark. Mark. Oh, I'm doing a bad job. Of, I don't know what to say. It's just a like a run, like if you're doing peated run or an unpeated run. Yeah. Right. All right. Cool. Yeah, that might be a bit deja, deja vu for you there, but deja vu. Yeah. Do you know what I what I hate when people say that's de deja vu all over again? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that annoys me because that's pretty much what it is, isn't it? It's uh, deja vu. Do you, you don't say that deja vu all over again because it means all over again, does it not? Yeah, pretty much. That annoys me. Just to say, just saying. Jam's a good today, isn't it? Oh. Research. We're going to look into some of this and uh, we're going to see if we can. Um... Sorry, man, look, just inter I'm interrupting you again already. Already, do you know what I came up with the research inadvertently? I was remembering episodes ago, forever ago, we were going, we went, ah, oh, skull, skull, who yeah. says skull? And we Dines. never got, well, yeah, exactly right. I was thinking it's, it's Prost. <laughs> oh, shut up, stop being so great. <laughs> I actually looked months ago and forgot to ever mention it. Yeah, there. exactly. It's doing a research and then forgetting to actually mention it. So Prost, that's the, that's yeah. the German one. Yeah. And then Skoll. Skoll is, the... is, I think Skoll is actually Norwegian as well, possibly. It's all that whole... Yeah, Scandinavian kind Iceland, of... Iceland, the whole lot of them too. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, um, hey, you can interrupt me if it's to tell me I'm right. I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, mind yeah, take that. Someone. I just didn't want it leaking out my skull again, <laughs> yet again. Happy days. Yeah. So, rum. Aye. Rum. What do we know? Like say, Jura. Jura. It's called, the rum distillery there, um, took a bit of finding it actually, but it's actually called the Deer Island. Deer as in reindeer or you know, fallow deer or whatever. So it's the Deer Island, because obviously Jura's got like 5,000 odd deer on it, hasn't it? It's the Deer Island forth. Rum Company, or the, the Deer Island Rum, they hmm. call it. But it looks so, like really early days. Very much early days. Very yeah. much early days. Um, I think literally batch number one is coming to an end of sale for, for selling the first batch. So they're probably working on batch number two right now, I would imagine. Mm. Total opposite. They're just getting up and started. Uh, I've, I'm i not making fun of them. I'm just stumble over words from time to time. But, you know, Ben stumbling on the, the liquid. Is there, uh, your career. The liquid antiquarian, though, the, uh, the, the site... 
that I had a quick glance through and I realised I'd be going down a rabbit hole for the next. So I haven't even dared get back on there, but that looks fascinating what he was bringing up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just going into the history of all different kinds of spirits. That's what I like about him. He's got the passion for it, hasn't he? It's interesting. He likes what he does. That's that's why. Did you see how many little areas he trotted out in bits of history and bits of uh, like the differences of uh, technical yep. ins and outs of it and whatnot, and specific people he's given shout outs to? Yeah. Oh, well, there's someone Jay on... Gow, I think it was. Jay he's Gow, talking about somebody Aaron up in or Orkney. Orkney, that's it. Somebody up in Orkney doing amazing, but yeah, Jay Gow is what it turned out to be. Right, Named after a pirate. Named after a pirate. We've got to do something about pirates. We're going to do something about pirates because pirates keep getting brought up, don't they? Mm. You know what I mean? I bought some pirate videos once. That's it. Just let that hang. Imagine if Dave and I were, we were you know, we'd be giggling and <laughs> giggling our arse off after that, but uh, yeah. <laughs> you just get tumbleweed now. Absolutely. <sighs> Meet me on the bounty. Mm. That wasn't even pirates, was it? No, that certainly was not. That's quite a different thing. Yeah. Mr. Chris Jones. Is that not the film? I, or the book? Sorry, I, I saw it when I was a, a young boy. You know, it was an impressionable young boy. It's uh, happy memories for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you learn to drop the soap watching sailor movies. You've never seen it? What, Mew and Bounty? Of course yeah. I have. It's not yeah, a sailor it's movie. Film. No, it's a classic though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Classic movie. It's anyway, we digress. We digress. A bit about rum. Come on, let's talk a bit about rum. What else did you research and find out? It's all just bits and pieces, you know, from his absolute amazing library of it, of knowledge. Uh, weren't sure it was, ah, did I bring some Barbados rum it was like that four square stuff that yeah. was the Barbados stuff he'd, he'd come up with um, got to be honest I was quite drunk towards the end of that I don't remember too much at the end yeah yeah. your bits were, were, were it's getting like quite technical and then you just launch in with something that had to be cut <laughs> and then we're back to yeah that was mostly your yeah was, my input was pathetic but no that's not but, what I'm saying unfocused though unfocused <laughs> yeah I got it <laughs> yeah it's too technical for me, but like I say, Ben obviously needs to know the technical. And you're quite a technically minded guy, so I suppose it's. Uh... Can we have a point out? Look at Rod as his shirt today. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Show him the shirt, come on. There you go. The attic, all oil of whiskey. Get in. Nice. Yeah. Look, I've got to give you credit. I would have thought you'd just pick up sort of a, a lipstick pink or something. You actually put some thought. Well, I nice think grey needs green. to be our colour because of this. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to be amazed that you have that amount of insight, taste. thought, and taste. Exactly. Yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> I wouldn't have. Well, one of these days I'll wear a shirt up here that everyone will question my taste. Mm. I think it's a, it's it's a winner. At some point, it's already. a winner. But we we'll go from there. Absolutely. So, how else you got for Ben? Come on. What no. else did you research? You're the Rodders did a lot of research on this one because I'm. I'm a bit lost on all this. No, but honest. most of it just I just enjoyed out. the rum. That's oh, what it's about for me. Anything on the paper? But I thought Ben was very. What's the word? Uh, what's the word? He was very thorough. His information, his facts. It didn't leave a lot to need to research because he was so on the ball oh, with he'd it. He'd been over it and over That's it and over it. Do you know what I mean? He was so on the ball with it, wasn't it? I, I watched yeah. the episode back a couple of times with a pad and pen, thinking, "Oh." I'll make a list of stuff that maybe we'll need to clarify in blethers and I'm actually sat there not really writing very much to be honest because he was so thorough in, yeah, in his yeah, coverage yeah. of it all uh, so okay this is uh, I just wanted to yeah the liquid antiquarians it was people he was trying to give a shout out to and didn't quite mention yeah. so it was uh, I believe Frederick Douglass was the slaver uh, the, the child of um, his dad was a slaver and his mum was a slave right he wanted to give a shout out to the, that's like an anti-slavery hero he was mentioning liquid antiquarians beautiful thing Jay Gow up in Orkney mm -hmm. and uh, Speyside Copper Works they're up oh, in they're doing their still yeah doing making still. his still they make a lot of stuff for the whiskey industry and they're up up uh, Elgin Way that kind of oh. um, uh, is it Rossi Rothy what's that place Rossi. called up there? Bucky. Oh, no, Bucky Bucky up there, up there yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was up there visiting I got my friend. lives in Bucky I could not believe oh, I could understand them Mm. Like one year, I'd been out of the country for years, come back and one year's going, what in the hell is this? <laughs> and the other year was translating it immediately because I'd grown up just a bit south of that, you know? Oh. Bye, lovely up there, beautiful. Yeah. Um, I, I remember we didn't know what Guadalupe was, where that was. Mexico, I told you, there's a place in no, Mexico. No, that's the problem of it. Where he's talking is... There's one in Spain as well. As Guadalupe. It's a, it's a French spelling and that's a, a bunch of Caribbean... Uh, French Caribbean 
islands, and right. then Guadalupe, loop that I was thinking of, as you're saying, is over on the west coast of Mexico as an island. Yeah. But there's a Guadalupe in Spain. Is there? Pl yeah, because I'm pretty sure this is going back a long time. Me and the family went to Benidorm on holiday. We went on a trip out on this old rickety train. Mm. It's an old like park bench type seats. And we went to this drive through all the orange and lemon groves and all this oh, sort of it. stuff. It's beautiful. And you come to this little village, I'm sure. I'm going to have to research it again now. <laughs> it's called Guadalupe. And it's where they make all handmade guitars and it's Spanish guitars and all that. And then on the way back, they say champagne is a go-go, they call it. And they give you a little plastic beaker. You know the ones that will stack into each other? Oh, yeah, yeah. They give you that. And they just walk the one person on each carry, <laughs> walks up and down, just pouring this cheap-ass champagne into <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. And what they say is, put your finger in it straight away, and then it doesn't bubble over. The saltiness or whatever from your finger, oh. the bubbles just go straight down. Anyone wants to try that home? Seriously, scientific experiment. Pour champagne in really quick. Put Are your we sort of obligated to get a, like a 30 quid bottle of champagne? In I then. don't know. It might be an idea. We might just have to do that now. So if anyone wants to donate a bottle of champagne, we'll do that test live Stick your in finger the attic. In it. That's the trick. Stick your finger in that. The yeah, bubbles die really quick and you can top it over again. Prosecco, any of you Prosecco drinkers, you losers out there, just feel free to. Did I say that? Oh, yeah. And I meant it, strange. <laughs> <laughs> and I meant it. I'm not going to back down. So, yeah, so I'm sure that's a Guadalupe as well, but mm. I might just have to have a look at that. But anyway, it's not really that. How relevant. did you turn out so soulless, having lovely childhood experiences soul? like that? Yeah, but we're so on like, old... <laughs> my dad swears he was never drunk. He just walks along like, no, I'm fine. I'm just travel sick. <laughs> Yeah, 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 just a little under the way. My brother goes straight into the restaurant and has this big fry up Spanish meal, and he's like, God, I was <laughs> puking and wobbling all across the street. I'd only been about 15, something like that. <laughs> the room. Well, I suppose that's acceptable. But the champagne a go go, you know, they describe it. Just literally drank it for like 45 minutes or an hour, everyone just knocking it back. Soon as your cup had like an inch out of it, she topped it up, and it's like. That's a beautiful way of getting drunk. Oh god! Champagne yeah. is so weak. But, yeah, but, but it, it just could, goes through you like a. But the amount you drink, it's just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. the good thing was, had that the way you, was. on the way out, you didn't get any. <laughs> yeah. But at the end of each carriage, you see this big stack of boxes just full of shit ass champagne, <laughs> champagne bubbly crap. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, enough of my waffling stories. It was nice. Happy days. Sounds lovely. Yeah, I would have been there. 15. Yeah, and no, so care, anyway, no, back to, uh, no, this is it. This is, we digress from rum, Guadalupe, straight over to me getting drunk on us, keep our champagne on a Spanish Spanish train. But I'll tell Absolutely you what, though, went from more or less writing off rum or like, not interested to yeah, it, kind of a nice amount of respect. It was kind of, it's not that you write it off or anything, but I think you kind of there's other drinks that you prefer or you know about or you you drink, and rum kind of you think you know it. Yeah, you, you think don't... you already know rum. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know rum. It's nice. It's okay. Put a bit of Coke in. It's lovely. I'll have a rum and Coke. Nice. Yeah. But then you're like, oh, I'd rather have a nice straight whiskey or I'll have a mm. bot bottle of beer or whatever. So the, rum the for idea me of doesn't sitting there get... with a dram of rum. Yeah, would that be was bizarre. But that actually Absolutely. was properly yeah, legit but it, thing to but do. But the way Ben explained it and the drams that we tried out, these little bottles, these samples that he brought, and even that Caden had probably a cheap ass one I bought, and that was 50%, but you would never believe it. Mm. It was lovely. You know, on all these drowns, it kind of, it's a real eye-opener for me. Yeah. But anyway, that's it. I was really. pleased with him because he's, he's so, so often plays his cards really close to his chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to see what's been going on behind Absolutely. the mask all Absolutely. these years. You don't really hear problem. about any of no, the progression of this distillery, He just wants to we? do it. He doesn't usually want to talk about it. I don't know if you really noticed nice during it, I said to him a couple of times, you know, like, if you're not ready to announce what the name is or stuff yet, don't say it. Don't say it just because you're here. But, you yeah. know, because like I said, I know he is. Yeah, but he wants to get his, sort of all his ducks in a row before he yeah. sort of goes live or, you know, sort of talks too much about it. But no, fair play. He's, he's well on top of it. The building is looking fantastic, Dan. It's been totally renovated. Yeah. It's just like, you know... Oh, that was a nice little tie-in. Old... He was saying that uh, the ones doing the, the renovating... That's right, right yeah. Are, the great-great-grandson uh, of the person built that built it, it originally or something. So, yeah, 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 perfect. Absolutely. Which is a good sign because it's lasted hundred odd years now, so mm -hmm. you'd like to think it will last another hundred if it's kept within the family building. Mm. But yeah, it's a beautiful looking building now, it's really nice. Yeah, so it'd be exciting times when he gets a bottle up here and even if he brings a little sample up, that'd be good enough, wouldn't it? But yeah, no, 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 he just what are you on about. I know he was talking about bringing you up whole bottles, just keep stashing you, just let you know, <laughs> as long as you keep talking up rum, yeah, and that's sort it. of forget about whiskey. That you know, was his move, it just keep supplying you with bottles. So they're trying to bribe us then, is what it was. It's bribe. Well, that's actually could... extortion and things. Is that like illegal and that more? Is it welcome though is the point? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, we'll buy that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got my vote. So anyway, big I'm one. Play um, hard to get. 
I want to do say though, Ben, cheers for coming up, mate. Mm. It was brilliant, thoroughly enjoyable. It's not really what we've done on the attic before, but do you know what? It's nice to diversify a little bit. But and it's you, bloody you, interesting. Again, uh, about the building, it's Isla Worker. There's history there. The, the yeah. skill of making the spirit, like he's he's yeah. put thought into how this does continue from the, the island yeah. as well. So absolutely. So yeah, I'll tell you what. It's, uh, it was a, a pleasure having you up here, Ben. And thanks for the for the yeah. free gift, yeah, the bottle over the dam, obviously the jams. That was um, unexpected, but very much appreciated and enjoyed. Please subscribe, we're up to 60 subscribers now. When we reach oh, 100, you're being honest. first giveaway. Don't be honest, there's 2 million, what are you on about? No, viewers is 2 million, 2.8 oh, million yeah. subscribers. The subscribers are, yeah. yeah, it's a <laughs> very <laughs> select <laughs> group of subscribers. Yeah, the 1.9 odd million, just don't think, oh bugger that, we're not <laughs> subscribing to that shite. <laughs> We've had 2 million people tune in for 2 minutes, and then like, I'm Yeah, that's enough. Like well, the dragon's den, I'm out. I'm Do bored your with nipple this, say. The what? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Which side is it normally? It's that side over here. There's no, it's gone up here lately. It's kind of... Oh, that's a better look, actually. But no, so we have a circle up here, I think, with us two in it, and a square over here with another episode that we're linked in, something like that. Oh, but that nice but whack on them both, anyway, and have a look, see what you think. Like I say, once we get 100 subscribers, we'll be doing a free giveaway live on the attic. Um, just You've to... got dreams of people falling in love with these things. Well, you? they were for us, they really, just for us as a little promotional thing, but they were really nice, aren't they? Yeah. They were right. We might, we might. I tell you what, we might even order another one. We might do a prize giveaway of a T-shirt. We'll get the winner gets to give me their size, and I'll order I'd want one. I'd booze in with that. Huh? I'd want booze in. Oh with yeah, that. well it will be. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. will be. But what I'm saying is, if they, whoever wins a prize, give us your sizes, and we'll get one made, and we'll get one banged out to you. Mm -hmm. So you will be the first winner of our first item of merchandise. We got pens. We got pens now, haven't we? We're on it. Anyway. Well, and if anyone wants some dodgy Chinese hard drives, they can have that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we bought these lovely two terabyte external hard drives to record all of this on, and so Rodders can download, upload it, whatever it is to do, what he does technical wise, and do all his editing and stuff. But it works out there about 50 gigs at best, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. About yeah. 50 gigs at best. It's supposed to be two and a half, two terabyte. And a complaint to Amazon. Arseholes. Anyway, yeah. I bought them. And it works out that they're absolutely crap. No one near the but two But it takes terabytes. you too long to realise But that, when we realised, I've complained sorry. to them and sort of wanted a bit of money. But I said, sorry, you're outside the 30-day period now, so we can't refund you. I'm like, well, that's it's trade description, surely. It's not giving us what they're advertising. I don't think we're inviting much pity out there. I don't think... Well, people... we should be. Because we're spending good hard cash on this that we ain't got. We're just poor, measly, you know... We're not measly. Underpaid yeah. for the skills that we possess... Now we're losing Tour all the guys. Petty. That's it. We've lost it all now. So anyway, stay tuned. Follow it on here. You'll see some. <laughs> it's got people laughing. You'll see some. Stuff. I know. Yeah, I know. But it's probably the shirt. But yeah. So um, stay tuned. Click subscribe, like, and all that malarkey. We'll see oh, you next time. Come on, do a clank. Oh, I've been saving it. this last Farewell. little dribble so we can be sweet. See you later, guys. I had this char floating about in there the last ten minutes. I just managed to <laughs> beach it on the top so I can get the last drink. Uh, several times now um, where we called the attic um, hopefully you can see from this we are actually filming in our attic so as you come through this is the bit above my head here you can't probably see it but this is where I smash my head all the time just down here is where all the magic happens it's like the going live studio this so that's the studio there my bucket there for my rainwater tripods there we go there's our shower curtain which we use as a diffuser for the lights very nice and just to prove it's an attic we're now going to go into the attic. Uh, a bit gloomy in here. Cobwebs it. Oh, that's my head. Cobwebs everywhere, like everybody else. Hot water cylinder. It's um, it's lovely. Look at it. Beautiful loft. Lovely loft here. Not much going on, but there we go. And as we're coming round, you can see actually all the insulation. I did a bit of lagging up here. And there's the back of the shower screen. Professional. The light here, sat on top of an old suitcase. Lovely, and that's how we diffuse it and make the attic. Here we come. This is a view you would generally get. With, oh, Christ, nearly gone through the floor when we're filming. So, there you go, guys. Just to prove we are an attic. That's why we're called the attic, and stay tuned.